Hey there, Linux fans! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some exciting news for all you Fedora enthusiasts out there. Fedora Linux 41 has officially entered public beta testing, and it's packed with some fantastic new features. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at what's new in Fedora Linux 41, from the latest Linux kernel 6.11 to the all-new GNOME 47 desktop environment, and much more. So, let's dive right in. First up, let's talk about the backbone of any Linux distro, the kernel. Fedora Linux 41 Beta is powered by the latest and greatest Linux 6.11 kernel series. This means you're getting top-notch performance, the latest hardware support, and all the improvements that come with it. But that's not all. Fedora Workstation, the flagship edition of Fedora, now exclusively uses the Wayland Display Server, offering a smoother and more secure graphical experience. The new GNOME 47 desktop environment is also part of this release, bringing a fresh look and feel to Fedora. If you're running an NVIDIA GPU, you'll be happy to know that Fedora 41 supports installing NVIDIA drivers with Secure Boot enabled. This is a big win for those who've been frustrated by driver issues in the past. For KDE fans, the latest Fedora KDE spin ships with KDE Plasma 6.1, offering an updated and polished experience. Now let's talk about package management. Fedora 41 finally switches to DNF5, which promises faster and more efficient package management. This is great news for those who love to keep their systems updated without the usual waiting times. Fedora has also enabled system service hardening features for default system services to boost security. And for AMD users, ROCM 6.2 is now available for enhanced GPU performance. But that's not all. Fedora Linux 41 introduces several new tools and enhancements. Fedora 41 also keeps its software stack up to date. You'll find the latest LibreOffice 24.8 for all your office needs and Mozilla Firefox 130 for a blazing fast browsing experience. The GNU tool chain has also been updated, featuring GCC 14, GNU Benoodles 2.42, GNU C Library 2.40, and GDB 14 among others. Programming languages like Python 3.13, Go 1.23, LLVM 19, Perl 5.40, and Node.js 22 are all included as well. And for those of you interested in tiling window managers, there's a brand new Fedora spin called Fedora Miracle, featuring the Miracle WM tiling window manager. It's based on the Mir compositor library and is designed for a high-quality Wayland experience. Whether you're using low-end ARM devices or x86 hardware, Fedora Miracle is built to deliver a snappy, efficient performance. The final release of Fedora Linux 41 is expected to drop sometime in late October or early November 2024. If you're eager to try out the beta version, you can download it from the official Fedora website. But remember, since it's a beta, it may contain unresolved bugs or unfinished features. So, it's best not to install it on a production system. That's it for today's video. If you're excited about Fedora Linux 41 or have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy testing!